hello guys welcome to solving solutions on bound channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to look at how to calculate bearings from your coordinates right good now on the previous tutorial we have shown you how to use these same coordinates to get your distances right good so we are taking it a step further to now get your bearings so on the channel we have used the calculator having a um, tan inverse of a um, Eastern over nothing and then trying to know the quadrant it falls so that you know what to add and then we have also used the Casio calculator where we use the pole and the rec function right good so the function we are going to use today on Excel is similar to that of the pole and the rec um, on the calculator in that we don't really need to add 180 or subtract 180 or add 360 at any point because the function actually um, takes into consideration the quadrant where your bearing actually falls right good so we have a note now the note actually contains the formula and then there is also an explanation of what the formula right good so before we start to use the formula there are some parameters we need we need our delta easting and our delta nothing right good so these are just simply the changes in easting and then the changes in nothing right good so we have shown you or we have told you on the previous tutorial that your subtraction is actually the second minus the first the third minus the second the fourth minus the third and so on and so forth so for our delta easting the first one will be what easting 2 minus easting 1 right good so when you hit enter it actually returns what the delta easting so on excel you can actually drag across and then you can also drag down depending on what you want to achieve so we have dragged it across to our right hand side because it contains what the column for um, delta nothing so by doing that we have automatically what written g2 g3 minus g2 which is um, equivalent to what your second nothing minus what your first nothing right good so the reason why we did that is that the formula or what we want to achieve is actually the same so instead of rewriting it we can actually what autofill right good so that's what we have done so since um, it's the same thing we want down the column we can use what this plus sign to just autofill so it now populates what the whole column with the delta easting values right good so at any cell you click you are going to see this minus this right good so any cell you click you are going to see that the formula we have imputed in the first cell has been what has been duplicated so if we come to the nothing um, column and then we do same thing for that cell it autofills and then that actually what gives you the delta nothing value of what all of those um, coordinates right good so there is a check you know um, we started from point one and then we are actually closing on point one so the check before we proceed to know if whatever we have done is correct is that the algebraic sum of your delta nothings and then the algebraic sum of your delta things must be equal to zero by algebraic sum it means if we highlight every delta and all the delta is in rather down to the end their algebraic sum must be what must be zero right good so how do we confirm that we can just um open okay click on the cell equal to sum right good so we can now decide to move from here up right good down to the first and then we hit enter you now see that it returned zero right good this means that it is actually what a closed loop this is the first check so remember we told you you can actually autofill across so if we drag it down this way it also means that we are trying to perform the same tax for what our delta nothing so you see that as we double click on what on the formula it has actually highlighted the cells that are involved in what the summation right good so the algebraic sum of our delta nothings and our delta things are what are zero this shows that the values that we have gotten are actually what correct now it takes us to the next part of the tutorial which is what the bearing aspect now we have told you that um, conventionally your bearing is standing inverse of what easting over nothing right good then whatever value you have you now know the quadrant of um 
your easting and your nothings if they are all positive or if one is negative and positive or maybe the both of them are what are negative so you know what to do however on this tutorial and the function we are going to use as we have here we are not concerned about the quadrant because the function actually what takes care of what the quadrant so let us look at it we have mode into degrees into act and to into um delta nothings comma delta eastings then we have to close all the brackets that we have opened plus 360 comma 360 right good so now we have a few notes as we've told you the formula calculates the bearing from one point to another right good given the changes in easting and nothings which is what delta easting and delta nothings right good so for the components the first one we have is what the delta eastings it actually represents what change in easting similarly your delta nothings represents what change in nothings right good so these are actually familiar now let's look at what the actan right good which has the function that contains what your delta nothings comma your delta easting so this function calculates the actangent of the quotient of the two arguments which is what your delta nothings and your delta eastings right good so it returns the angles in radians because mostly when you are working with them um, excel your results are if your angular results are mostly in radians if not always so you need to now convert it to degrees so that's why you have degrees outside of the actan right good so as we have it here um it returns the angles in radians between the nothings and the eastings right good so considering now this is very important considering what the correct quadrant this is actually the bone of contention especially when you want to calculate bearings because if you don't consider the quadrant you are going to have bearings that are completely off so since this actan considers the quadrant of the angle it actually is very important that we use it so the degrees we have told you it converts the angles from radians as returned by the actan to degrees right good then the mode the mode is the modulus operator that um, ensures that the angle is in the range of 0 to 360. So if the angle calculated by actan 2 is negative, adding 360 ensures it becomes positive. So the reason why we are taking you through this um, documentation is that it will give you um, a better understanding when we go back to Excel so that you know, okay, uh, how did some of these things come by? Because when you're calculating it normally, you will at some point have a negative um, angle, right? Good, which you now have to add 360 to it, especially when you're using what the pole and direct function on your Casio calculator, right? Good. So, and then if you're also using um, the conventional method of knowing the quadrants to know whatever value you are going to add, sometimes you also have those negative values and then you proceed thus. However, this actant too will take care of what whatever quadrant it falls and then the adding of the 360 comma the 360 actually takes care of what if it is going outside of 360 it needs to be within 0 to 360 and if you have a negative bearing it actually adds the 360 for it to be positive right good so now enough said let's now take our formula to excel so we just have to copy this and then we are back on excel right good so we come to this cell remember we told you that um, whenever you want to write a formula on excel the first thing you need to do is to type what your equal to right good so the equal to tells excel that um, you want to type a formula so we are now going to modify the the variables the variables here or let's say the arguments the arguments here are what our delta nothings and our delta things. now the order is very important when you're using the calculator it's nothings comma easting right good then distance comma bearing right good so in this argument it's also delta nothings comma delta things. not delta things comma delta nothing so that you don't have a bearing that is off so we now have to remove what our delta nothings as the placeholder and then we now put the actual delta nothings which is this right good then we come to our delta eastings again the placeholder we remove it and then we also put what our delta eastings so what we have actually done now is that we know what mode is from the previous 
page where we have um, explained we know what the grease is we know what the actan is and then we also know what um, delta nothings and delta eastings are right good then the plus 360 comma 360 so it was delta nothings and delta eastings before so they were just placeholders now we have populated them with the actual what cell number which contains the values with which the operation will be carried out right good so if we hit enter it actually returns the bearing of that line are we together so um for you to auto fill as we have told you earlier you can just um, double click on this and then it populates down to the end now there's a, there's an outlier right good there's an outlier because delta nothing here is zero delta things here is zero therefore there's a little challenge but don't bother yourself about that for now let's look at the positive side so if you look at our bearings you are going to see that we don't have any negative bearing that's the first thing and then i'm also very sure that all the bearings that we have gotten here are actually correct if you use your calculator so um okay i should have said it earlier or yeah whenever you are running a program like this you need to test it before ever you publish it right good so you need to get a calculator maybe you know the manual method or maybe you know how to use the pull and direct function on your calculator to get your bearings right good so you ensure that whatever value you have here you test maybe randomly to see if the bearings that you've got in here actually are in line with the bearings that what you've gotten from your calculator right good so now we have these um, about six to seven values as a check on the channel um, where the link to that video will be on the description section of this particular video now on the channel where we have used the manual method we got the bearings right good so we are now going to do similar stuff equal to good so we are now going to um, populate what the placeholders now the delta nothings here we can actually remove it you can now see the argument the x number and then the y number right good so we can actually remove our delta nothings the placeholder and then we pick what delta nothings similarly we can what delete delta eastings and then we pick this and then we hit enter those are the two important things to actually what to remove and then we can what auto fill now um you can take your time watch the video the link will be in the description section now use the value because that was actually what we did anyway use the values that you've seen here to compare with the values that we have used the calculator to get or the values that we have used the conventional method to get to see that the actant 2 actually indeed considers the quadrant where your delta nothings and your delta eastings fall and then has actually done the needful to what to get your bearing alongside our plus 360 comma 360 which ensures that what our bearings are actually within zeros to like zero to 360 and then whenever it is negative 360 is what added to it so basically we have shown you on this tutorial in this powerful video right good the video is powerful yeah we have shown you on today's powerful video how to use excel to calculate bearings of what of lines using what your coordinates right good so moving on you might also decide to use python programming language for similar stuff right so we are just trying to build from known to unknown so that we can appreciate the application of a um, computer in surveying right good and geomatics as a case may be so thanks for coming to class um, we hope we have provided solution to this particular surveying problem if you have any comments contrary opinions and then you want us to help you do stuff like this you can always reach out to us and then we'll get back to you as soon as possible so until we meet again have a nice time bye